hey, here's one thing that you can do every time that you serve to add value to someone's life. Our ministry word for the year, as we talked about at our annual Special Friends team member training, is the word beloved. And we turned that word into an acronym. And the B and the E in beloved meant to bless everyone. And we talked about that the word bless came from the Hebrew word barak, which means to praise and primarily to do that with your words. One interesting thing about the word bless is that it also carries the concept of adding weight to somebody's life. You see, in the Old Testament times, they didn't have coins that had denominations on them. Like, for instance, today we have pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters and things like that. In the Old Testament times, they didn't have denominations. Now, coins might have had inscriptions on them. They might have had someone's picture but the way that you determine the value of a coin was by its weight. You had to put it on a, a weighing scale. And the heavier the coin, the more value that it had. And that's the picture of using your words to bless others. Basically, when you're blessing others, you're adding value to their lives. You're choosing to say to someone that you are of such value to me that I want to add to your life. I want to add weight to your life. And you do that with your words. Now, you already know that words carry weight. You've been hurt by words before. You've been blessed by words before. Words carry weight. And so every time that we serve, we want to make sure that we're adding value to people's lives. The kids, the teens, the adults that we serve, whether it's at Buddy Break, our life group, or in our outreach ministry, to add value to the people that we serve. And we do that with our words by blessing everyone. And that would also include parents and caregivers. So next time that you serve, make sure that you add to people's lives by blessing them with your words using positive words of affirmation and encouragement.